and broke up the nice streak today. Yeah, we had downpours around the area this evening, many of which have since faded. There's still one or two of them that continues to linger on across parts of southeast Indiana tonight. There was even a little thunder and lightning out there. You can see how those though have really shrunk overall in coverage, and it looks like we're headed towards a much quieter night. Quick glance over into Ripley County, parts of Dearborn County there from Versailles over towards Steelsboro on 50. We've got the last of a dying downpour. This will head down 421 towards Rexville also impacting those of you around friendship. This is really about it and should be it for the night. Now, the reason why we had the downpours today, they really flared up during the daytime hours. You can see that counterclockwise spin. We've been tracking this same storm system that's been stuck for the past four or five days. Well, it looks like it's finally going to scoot off towards the east as the weather log jam becomes undone and looks like we're going to finally get things moving again as they should. But check out this really cool viewer photo that was sent in from JW Murdoch here on Twitter this evening. This was shot up in College Corner. Look at this. You can see the growing thunderstorm here underneath. You've got the rain shaft or the area of rain falling underneath the base of the storm and then right there in the corner you're able to capture the setting sun as it's going down. So thanks a lot to Jay for sending this in. But many of you saw scenes like this earlier this afternoon and this evening. Here's a look at your weather headlines. Tomorrow promises to be a drier day, although I won't rule out a stray downpour. There's still the chance for a little rain, but overall more of us should stay dry. The coverage won't be quite as great as today. Still looking at heat and humidity for Father's Day weekend with more storms, especially on Sunday. 66 degrees outside tonight. We got a light southwest breeze. I want to draw your attention to the dew point, not just because the humidity has been creeping its way up, but these two numbers, the dew point and the actual air temperature, relatively close and a good setup for either maybe some low clouds or a little bit of fog, especially in areas that received rain today. Now everyone has pretty much been rain cooled back into the 60s for the night, so we'll hover in the mid 60s. We really won't drop much through the night. We may tick our way down a degree or two, so it's quiet through the remainder of the night. Here's the clouds and or fog that may try to set in in the morning. We'll probably start out with some grayish skies in some areas. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Again, I won't rule out a stray downpour, but more of us are dry versus wet. Looks like a nice Friday evening and then we're off to well climbing temperatures, especially Saturday and Sunday with high heat and humidity. Those temperatures up around 90. So partly cloudy the rest of the night, some fog. Any of those downpours over there in Indiana, they're almost gone. 63 becoming sunny tomorrow. Small chance for a stray shower, noticeably warmer, noticeably more uncomfortable, and that continues into the weekend. So again, aside from just a stray downpour, most of us should stay dry tomorrow. Here's your seven day forecast. There's your temperatures around 90 through the weekend. Unfortunately, Mike and Cherie still eyeing Sunday afternoon Father's Day there for some stormy weather. And of course, the summer solstice. If you didn't know already, it arrives on Saturday and it will feel like it over the weekend. All right, Kevin, thank you again. If you